Hey guys, welcome back to Living Las Vegas. Tatiana here, and I am the girl that brings you all the Vegas content from hotels and casinos, room tours, activities, and like food in Las Vegas. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, as you can tell, I am in a hotel room. We are at the Caesars Palace, which I'm sure you realized that when you clicked on the video and it said it in the title. <laughs> anyways, so today we are gonna be doing two things, room tour, and then the buffet. So I decided to combine those. Um, I am going to have a um, like casino walkthrough. But that is going to be in a completely separate video because this property is so massive. Like honestly, it took a couple times for me to walk around and just get the lay of the land, but I think I got it now. So you guys can check out the casino walkthrough in my next video. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the room and the buffet. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Let's get into it. All right guys, so let's head on into this standard king room. Um, I don't even know if it's actually standard, but it is a nice room, but we're gonna just jump right into it. Um, and we're gonna start off here with the bathroom, which is really nice and very spacious and super luxurious. Um, it was definitely fit for a Caesar, I guess, you know? Like it's really a very nice um, bathroom. So. There's the shower and then there's the, what is called the water closet in the real estate world. And then panning over, you're gonna see me in the mirrors. I tried to cut myself as much as I could, but I'm like all over it. But here's the vanity um, with the mirrors. I like it because it's like really upscale, but it's not too feminine, like it's really nice. There I am in the mirror again. And I like this like wallpaper-esque, I don't even know what it was, but it, when you got really close to it, it actually looks like a drawing. Um, okay, so heading out of the bathroom, the hallway like lines with the closets. There's a lot of room for like luggage and things. Like let's say you're gonna be staying here for a while, um, but there's a closet area. This one doesn't open. I think that's where like electrical or like a water heater is. They have a vanity like makeup area here in the hallway, which I think is a nice touch so you can get ready while somebody else is using the bathroom. Here's a pan of the bedroom, which is really big, you guys. <laughs> like, it's so nice. Okay, so checking out the bed. Um, we did stay here, obviously, so the bed is made up per our standards, not hotel quality, but we had to just kind of tuck the sheets back in. Anyways, nice, large king bed. Then we have the, like, mini bar area. We didn't touch any of these items um, because it's super expensive, but they have, like, snacks to just kind of tempt you and then the mini bar is there, but they really want you to try to eat that stuff, man. Like this is the first one that had it all sprawled out on the, um, like the outside of the mini bar. But then there's some like drawers here if you wanted to put stuff in there. I wasn't really sure like what was up here. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to put anything up there. Maybe alcohol. I don't know. I think it just depends on how long you guys are staying here. This seems like an, somebody would it's set up for somebody to stay here for more than just a few nights but look at this beautiful like velvety couch it's so it was so comfortable and the seating area it was just really really nice um simplistic pictures but still very strong decor um, i liked the blue that ties in from the curtains to the couch now here is a pan it's like an overview of the pool area this was our view unfortunately you guys are not going to see the pool at all in either video because it's um i stayed here when pool season was over so the pools are currently closed wow look at that dirty mirror <laughs> but anyways i'll catch you guys downstairs Okay, so I do have to let everybody know. Sorry, I'm not in frame. Um, <laughs> hold on. I do have to let everybody know that you, which we were unaware of, but you do have to have a reservation for the buffet at Caesars. 
Um, there's not a lot of buffets that are open right now, and so I'm sure that's part of the reason. Um, and I don't know if they're doing it differently than like normal, limited seating, I'm not really sure. We'll check it out when we get inside. But just FYI, if you do come to Vegas and you're trying to get into the buffet at Caesars, you do have to have a reservation. Alright everybody, we've been seated. We are in the, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I have to ask somebody. But we're in the buffet um, and it's really nice in here. It's a great ambiance, like really, um, how do I put this? It's very like dinner vibes. It's really nice. So we're gonna do a walkthrough and show you guys like just all the different options. But let me flip the camera around so you can see some of the decor. And then um, after my partner gets back, um, and he gets his food, then I'm gonna go up and like walk through the different sections so you can see all of it. Okay, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, the buffet portion is gonna be flipping back and forth between me talking front facing camera and then some voiceovers and just showing you the food. So we're starting over here in like the Asian cuisine section. Um, I tried to get the food the best I can guys, but if you, as you can tell, it's, it's busy. There's lots of people and I just really couldn't like walk through um, and like really, really get like too close to all the food. I was trying to be respectful of just the people that were trying to get food as well as like, mm, like, I don't know, hy not hygiene, but like sanitization purposes just cause of like COVID anything. But like, hopefully you guys can get an overview, but it flowed from the Asian cuisine to like, um, then more of like Mediterranean, then went into Italian. Here's the Mexican food cuisine area which was pretty good um you'll notice the theme here like i don't know what was going on with my appetite when we came here it was really unfortunate because the <laughs> the bacchanal buffet is not cheap i'm gonna just let you know that right now it's not cheap by any means and i never even made it to this part here with the like um american like style where there's like turkey and there's like prime rib and all this stuff i didn't even make it to this american cuisine section um to try to eat because by the time i got here it was kind of full so my appetite was a little wonky but overall everything that i tasted was good and the star of the show really is the seafood um honestly for how much it costs and like the amount of seafood that you get to eat and it's not just like oh here's some shrimp and here's some crab like the variety of seafood that they have is off the charts and so what it would cost you to have some kind of seafood platter or seafood dish at a high-end restaurant um for like probably you know it would run you like 50 60 dollars at a high-end restaurant where come here and you can get all of you you can eat um here's the dessert i did like that it was like you know which they do at most buffets like little bite-sized versions of all these different desserts just so you can try a little bit of everything i've really really enjoyed it I knew he was gonna come back with this plate. I just knew it. <laughs> okay, he got, I'll say it. He got a king crab claw, a lobster claw, a um, crawfish, mussels, an oyster, and some coconuts. That's the crawfish I could not, I can't, I'm sorry. So good. Snow crab. And just regular lobster, right? So or good. just the lobster claw? Just the oh lobster claw. I can't. I can eat that. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. Okay, so listen, I'm allergic to seafood, but I'm just like honestly not upset that I'm allergic to seafood because I. This just doesn't look appetizing to me personally, so no offense to all the seafood lovers out there. It's not my jam, but let's. Is it good? 
Really good, actually. Awesome. No, but let me look at it. What? Oh, I just can't. Nope. And then this is my. <laughs> I fucking have cashews on my plate. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> why are you trying to get out of the ring? <laughs> you don't want to be in it. <laughs> we just finished at the Bachanal, that's how it's pronounced Bachanal buffet. It was really good. Um, I think, I think, this is Javier by the way, I haven't officially introduced, but that's Javier. Um, I think he got more for like his money's worth than I did. Yeah, I don't Um, cause he has just like two nice like helpings of seafood, but I, it seemed like even all the dishes like had seafood in it and I'm just not, I can't eat it and then when I was looking at the different entrees in the different cuisines, like they just weren't appealing to me. It wasn't really something I wanted to eat. I'm not saying it's not good, it's just, I can eat a lot, but I'm also a picky eater. So, yeah, but I definitely got my money's worth at the dessert section. Guys, right, so we weren't exactly sure what we are gonna do, but we came over, we sat at this double roulette, like machine system. Um, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Put in, $20 each. Um, I made, and we were making the same exact bets. I made $5 more only because he missed the first initial bet and the timing. But we both put $20 and that's what we walked away with. Um, and so, just so you guys know, the, um, but it's cool. I mean, you could play two sides, but we only played this red side here. So, pretty nice. So that was $155, but obviously put in 40. So our profit was 115. And if you think about the fact that I just spent $162, basically, Caesar's Palace just paid for, oh my God, I almost spilled that. Caesar's Palace just paid for our dinner. Yep. Pretty much came to 40 something dollars that we ended up in the difference between the 162 and the 115. Not bad, thanks Caesars. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you thought about the room that we're staying in and about the buffet. I give you all my thoughts, so let's chat about it down in the comment section below. But regardless, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stay tuned for our future Vegas content from me. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. But until next time guys, much love.